One Shot Lab uh, DTP. Now, we're going to be answering 14 questions, I believe. And so, what we need to do, we need to open our command prompt. You write IP config slash release. Once you do that, uh, your host IP address will become uh, zero, zero, zero. And so, what you need to do, you need to start Wireshark. And so, Once you open Wireshark, you put IP config slash renew. Okay, once you do this operation, it's supposed to show you your um, the new IP address that your host obtains, which would be 192.168.1. 108 but you can see here in, in my example it's not showing up because I'm having a difficulty with the computer I'm using okay once you do that you put IP config slash window again After you do that, you put IP config slash release to show all previous allocated IP address of your computer. And then you enter IP config slash renew to again uh, show an IP address of the computer that you're using. And then after you that, you stop Wireshark. You stop the capture of packets in Wireshark. Okay. Uh, take a look at Wireshark. And as you see here, these are all the packets of the, Even if you have like an issue with your computer or like the internet that you're using, just so you know. In the lab, there's a footnote. Once you copy this footnote and then you do that, it's going to be downloaded into your downloads. Once you download it, you go, you open your Wireshark, you put file, you put open, and you select the download. DACP, Ethereal, trace one, trace file. Once you do that, you have all of this information showing up. All right, now to continue on. As we thing in Wireshark, we all got all the, the we see only the DATP pack. Now, what do we do? We enter the field search packet, we write boot P. Now, once we do that, now this is an old packet. So once we see that, it's supposed to show, hold on. Once we put boot P in the, in this search packet, now it will show us all the DACP uh, cap, captured, it, uh, packet being captured. All right, now, for when we want to look for DACP, we need to put in this boot P, not DACP, because the computer does not know it. Which is, in this little box, the filter. 
Right. Now, Booby is an older version, an older protocol. All right. And so what we know is that that boot P and DACP had the same port number, which is 67 and 68, as you see it here. Now, once you use the command prompt, the first IP config slash renew um, in your computer, it will cause for DAC packet to be generated, which will be a DACP discover packet, DACP offer packet, DACP request packet, and DACP act packet. Now, those will be the four packets that will be generated from your um, IP slash renew the command prompt. Now, moving on, we will also be answering the questions a bit. And that will be doing part two, so stay tuned.